So I just got done right now taking a photo shoot of the new fall line for my candle business. I did this really cute fall theme with all of these leaves as if they had just fallen on the ground and the candles were on top. It was a really nice little photo shoot. I almost didn't even do it because I had realized I did not create yet their labels, but the, the way I kind of do my business is even if it's not 100% perfect, it's better to just get it out and then continue to evolve. You see, I want my business to be super sustainable. So to think that I'm going to have a 100% perfect product that will never ever need any type of retweaking might not be a rational assumption. And in fact, if I evolve, my business will evolve too. So sometimes even if I don't believe it is 100% perfect, like I might not have all the props I want or whatever, I just try my best. Some people spend a really, really long time perfecting their products and making sure the label looks 100% great and that they have hashtags and all of these things. But I try to look at the bigger picture. And if it's something that, you know, is still gonna look amazing and I can still add stuff to it later, like creating a product on Etsy with the photos that I'm still gonna make beautiful and then later on add more photos where it has the label, it's all gonna be fine. I found this old quote photo I created for my Instagram, which by the way, if you aren't following me already on there, check me out. And wow, it's just, it's still a fantastic statement. It's still a wonderful quote. And I felt like it came at the right time. Who are we serving by not being our true, our authentic selves? The brown woman who comes from a country that was so colonized and made to hate its blackness. I refuse to let the colonizers, I refuse to let the oppressors win by taking my joy. So later this Monday, I actually went on Facebook Live and showed off my products and did a live sale. And of course, the kitties got very intrigued and curious and Gigi was beyond curious with the bath bombs. I really enjoy connecting with people and sharing and I enjoyed the chance to do my makeup. But I took my contacts off and now it is time to wash this beautiful art piece off. grand rising y'all i literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago and it is tuesday yesterday was a great day and today i believe is going to be another great day i also am going to be releasing a new recipe video it's another alkaline inspired recipe video if you guys are interested in that i will link it above make sure you guys are subscribed like and comment on this video so we can do more awesome weekly vlogs and make sure you hit that bell so you guys know when i post more yoga meditation and vlogs this rising didn't go as i had planned at all I went to go grab a snack and saw bugs in my snack drawer. I ended up finding out what they were and how to get rid of them, but it still was kind of a poopy experience. It made the hair on my arm literally stand. I was just so grossed out. They can pretty much get into any of these packages, any of these, even if they were sealed, even if they are brand new, and so I have to make the tough decision to throw all of this out. All of it. I decided since my rising was a bit wild that I deserved to treat myself as best as I could. So I had a really yummy fresh pressed juice with some orange juice and I also had a big salad with a burrito. Unfortunately later that day I started to get really 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 bad cramps but thanks to an awesome suggestion I made some cinnamon and ginger tea. I also allowed myself to just rest. Even though I really really wanted to get stuff done my body was hurting and I knew I just needed to give myself a chance to just be mellow and just chill out. So 
I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, I found a little spider next to me. Thanks for the message, spirit. Later that day, I had some arroz, habichuela, avocado, and eggplant. I'm truly blessed to be able to experience such beautiful sunrises every single day. I created the labels for the fall line and did a photo shoot. I also went to the bank. Y'all, check out this beautiful sidewalk. It's like you're entering a portal to go into a whole new world. Later that day, I got the most interesting snack for my mom. Some fried platanos and french fries, and then a super healthy smoothie. I'm digging the juxtaposition. Hey beautiful beings, today is Friday. Or if this was me in high school, I would say it's fries day. Cause I would get fries with my home yaya in the after school. But any whoozle. I got some content stuff done earlier. I made this really funny TikTok of help thoughts during a yoga class. I am now about to pack a hat that was um, on my Poshmark store for sale and someone bought it. So I'm gonna go ahead and package that, give them a bath bomb as a little freebie. And then I'm gonna walk over to my boyfriend's house because I have loads of candles to make. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is that? Ah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So I am just getting ready here to work on some candles. Since I am a small business, right now I don't have a candle making space, right? So if some of you guys have watched one of my business vlogs, I'm gonna link it somewhere. I was looking last year for a candle space and had no luck. I have to work from home. I work for my kitchens and I do split my time between my actual house and my boyfriend's apartment, mainly just because when I'm at home, it's just a little bit harder to get things because my mom also runs her own home business there. There's also other people that live there and it's just, it's just what it is. So I do have to make sure, you know, I'm keeping this area really clean, especially making manifestation candles. I want the vibe to be as high as possible. Today I'm going to be making a giant Frankenstein candle is what I call it. And hopefully clearing out a bunch of old jars that were either from my personal use, a lot of them came from people donating them to me for me to reuse in my own candle business. So I really do truly appreciate everyone who donates candle jars to me. This place is looking really good now. So what I mean by a Frankenstein candle is I take the remaining bits, candle wax in jars, heat them up, and I put them in one big giant candle. So then these jars with that are almost empty with just a little bit of wax remaining or a little bit of herbs remaining, whatever the case may be, they're then ready to be used for more candles which I can sell. I can't wait for it to be the day where, you know, I have my own space that's just for candles. 
and nothing else and there's no other things crowding space but for right now I have to do what I can with what I am given and have faith that eventually I will have my own candle space I will have my own craft space So I decided that I needed to give my altar some much needed love. I went ahead and reorganized everything, cleaned off the drape that I have on top of it, and then just rearranged everything in a way that felt pleasing to me. I should definitely be doing this more often, however sometimes life just piles up. But I am grateful that I did take this extra time to show my ancestors this love and appreciation. And really, I'm also showing myself this love and appreciation. Let me know. Do you guys want an altar video on how to set it up? What you should put on it? Let me know down below. Hey, what's up beautiful people? It is Saturday and today I am excited to share. We have finally bit the bullet on some sea moss gel and I can't wait to like use it. It really, yeah, it really doesn't taste, it smell like much. And it gives me like bland baby food vibes. There's no taste, no smell. We chose to just get it already in the gel form instead of getting raw sea moss. Um, because then we would have to make the gel ourselves. So I was just like, let's just get the gel. So I think the first thing we're gonna do with this is put it into a smoothie because it has no smell, it has no taste. So I think that's a really, really easy way for us to uh, bask in the nutrients and the, all the wonderful goodness of sea moss gel in a very quick and efficient way. church doing a book sale and it is benefiting a nonprofit that helps out with homelessness so I was like hell yeah so I got two awesome books so this first one right here is about a black author who ends up looking into her family ancestry and finds out that there are Scott Irish people in her family and so it's like her whole story of like understanding really her ancestry and like what it means to be a family and then this one is about a little girl from Hawaii who dreams of traveling the world but one day wakes up with a blotch on her face and they find it to be leprosy. So she gets whisked away and uh, has an adventure. Let me know down below, what is your favorite book ever? Doesn't matter the genre, just let me know down below.